Hey, what's going on? I'm so excited. Okay, so I've been promising you guys, well, I didn't promise, but I told you that I um, was going to do a paint pour on some champagne glasses. Um, I had got asked um, if I did champagne glasses on a paint pour. Paint pour. Um, so, yes, I do. Um, um, first, I'd like to share a couple of things with you. This is a paint pour I did eh, some months ago. Um, that is actually, that's a light blue and black. And I coated it with Rust-Oleum uh, clear coat. It's a little dusty. <laughs> I had it in my bedroom because nobody wants to buy it. So all my stuff is like caked up in my bedroom. Um, so there you go with that. So that's the kind of paint pour I'm going to do. I do not do the stem. I do not do the bottom. Um, I think it's much prettier just like that. I think it's pretty. Okay. Um, another thing I want to share, I don't know, um, my sister, uh, one of my sisters, um, gave me this vase. It's huge and it's beautiful. Um, I do have to wash it up and I am planning on doing something really, really awesome with this vase. I can't wait. Um, it'll be my first time doing it with you. Um, and you know, my first time was my first time with you guys. Um, I don't do things ahead of time or before I do a video or whatever. I like to do things just spontaneously. So the first thing we're going to do is here's my champagne glasses and normally um, the way I prop up my wine glasses, champagne glass, wine glasses, whatever, I put them on top of, um, ah, oh my God, a cup like this. Um, this one's not going to fit. Normally I use like the regular, just clear cups. I'll show you. Like I said, sometimes I'm not prepared for this. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get so much stuff on my table, guys. Um, this. I'm going to put you down. Ugh. Oh, you guys can't see. Uh, you wonder why these spice shakers are here? I'm going to let you know about that in a second. Um, this is what I had used. Um, that way, when you paint pour it flows and it also gets underneath here but you also can move it around you can take it and just move it around pick it up put it somewhere I unfortunately <laughs> did not have um, anything to fit these poor champagne glasses so I had improvised Guess what I did? I took, I really don't use a lot of black pepper. So I dumped that in um, a little sandwich baggie. And onion powder, I very used. So I kind of just poured them both in a sandwich baggie. Mix it up. There you go for a seasoning, whatever, and chicken, whatever. So these actually, I need to move you back a little bit. These actually fit on top and you can still move them around. Now, I would have done it the other way, and but because this is a little lumpy and it goes in, it doesn't have the correct balance. So I chose to put them upside down like this. They're both the same size, both even. There you go. Um, so I'm going to once, oh, I'm sorry guys. Um, I wanted to show you if you have like the little stickers on the bottom or whatever, get a little bit of gook on, 
just put a little drop on a napkin or right here wipe it right off it'll come right off wash it with soap and water there you go i already prepped all these i already prepped this these are ready to go okay let's get that out of the way um i am using let me get my mouse out of the way i'm using oh turquoise which is one of my favorite 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 colors i put like mm, six drops six literally drops of water you don't want to put too much water in there otherwise it's going to be running and it's just going to run off it's going to waste all the paint so make sure that's nice and stirred um i put about um mm, i say two three tablespoons of turquoise three tablespoons of purple um a little bit more white because i want that for my base so about three and a half tablespoons of white mixed with water a few drops guys you don't want a whole lot it depends on what you're working with these are so small um so you know you guess you have to eyeball it um, I just want to stir these up a little bit because they have been sitting for a good eh, 10 minutes or so. <clears throat> I was on the phone for a minute. Uh, mix up your purple. I am super excited. I ordered a lot of not a lot, but a few more materi a few materials that I want to do to cause like a marble effect on my um, vinyl records. Um, and I think it's just gonna be awesome. I think it's just hopefully, hopefully, because I'm telling you right now, spray paint is not it's expensive. It's not cheap at all. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, a lot of you like it. And please subscribe or please go over and join my um, Heaven Petite Creative Fun Group. Um, and a lot of times I do post my videos there. And from there, if you do join, I would love everybody for join, to join and show your creative side. You know, post all the things that you, you know, that you enjoy doing. Um, if you don't, if you just want it to be like a private thing, then choose not to share because a lot of people would love to share. And I think that's like a good thing. You know, they, um, love your artwork and I think it's a good way to get your name out there. And I'm trying to get my name out there kind of. So, um, I just hope, you know, you guys can join. Um, it's a public group, um, and you can share whatever, if you are creative with your kids or you're creative with food or creative with wood, whatever, ceramics, I don't care, post it. That's what, that's what the page is for. Um, if you want to, you know, subscribe to... Um, my YouTube channel, it's Heaven Petite Fun Art. Um, please like, watch, like, subscribe. That's how I'm going to get my name out there. All the likes, guys. I can really, really use it. <laughs> I mean, it's not even about the money. It's about if you guys really like it and you guys want to share it and everything else. So, you know, I really, really appreciate it. Okay. So here we go. All right. First off, we're going to do um, we're going to do the white. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna move this light over here really quick. And first off, we're just I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm not going to do the stem. I'm just going to go around here and let it drip. Once it drips, I'm going to add. Uh, actually, I'm going to add the purple, and then I'm going to add the turquoise. Now, this is a clean pour. 
If it was a dirty pour, you would pour both the turquoise and purple and white all in together. I don't want to do that. I would like to put my colors where I would like them. Um, if you seen like my paint pours on my vases and stuff, they were dirty pours. Um, if you like it that way, let me know. Um, I am going to be starting come September, um, possibly a new page to where I would like to sell all my products, sell everything that I make. Um, so if you're interested, I will add a link in my Heaven Petite Creative Fun Group. And you can go from there or on YouTube uh, once I get that up and going. I'm not really sure. Everything's kind of a little up in the air. Um, so, okay. Here we go. Just going to add a little bit of white here and there. I'm going to be able to turn it. I'm just going to add a little bit here and there, put my glasses on, don't worry, um, I will get the bubbles out once I get all the colors on there. Like I said, the white is just to get the colors flowing. It's not to be honest, it's not too thick. It looks like it is, but it really isn't. Um, because I, like I said, I do have other colors that I am going to add on it. The white is just to make it flow a lot easier. And this paint will flow for a good while. If you have some issues, take a little scooper upper thingy and put it on. And it'll, it's, it'll flow. Like I said, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just want to get this flowing. want to make sure all the white is covered. It is a little iffy with these spice, spice um, shakers, but listen, I had to improvise and figure out what I wanted, what could I could use, so um, they will stand sturdy where I can move them. I preferably do not like newspaper. I really, really don't like it. But because my tablecloth, which is a um, shower curtain, <laughs> like a plastic shower curtain that I had got, so my resins, um, will peel off and my paint will peel off. It's just a mess under there. So I just choose to use new newspaper right now. Okay. So now our whites are, the white is all covered. So I'm going to come in 
I'm going to take uh, purple first. I'm very, I think I, I think I mixed a little bit too much, but you never know if it's going to like, eh, mess up a little bit. You never know. Never know. <laughs> and I'm only going to do, I'm going to space it out because I still want to do my turquoise. Yeah, that newspaper is a little pain in the butt. Okay, see how that's flowing down? Scoop this over this way, like, so you can just pick it up, scoot it over, you know. Um, it's pretty warm in here. It's like 80 something degrees. So, and the paint dries fairly quick. So, we're just going to kind of keep going around and around. When you do paint pours, they're not both going to turn out the same, guys. They're, they're really not. Um, you just kind of have to kind of go with the flow a little bit. Um, these are looking really, really pretty. Um, okay, let's go with the turquoise. Not too much, because like I said, you have that white paint. That's going to make it flow also. Okay, we're going to leave that like that for now. I like the um, multi-service acrylic satin paint because it does dry glossy, which makes it look really pretty. Um, I do have, um, you know, the clear, clear glass sealer. These are turning out absolutely beautiful. Ah, don't worry if you touch it a little bit. I just touched it a little bit and smeared it, but it's okay. Um, it's going to continue to drip. I think I am going to mix. I think I'm going to put a little bit. The turquoise in with the purple. Just a little. You want too much. That looks absolutely really pretty. Uh, I think I want to do a little bit more purple coming in here. Okay, and I think I'm going to do, um, let's see how that sits for a minute. These are definitely, I mean, not too much of a difference, really. I really like how these turned out. They're really pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do... You can choose to wear gloves. I choose not to. I just feel like I don't have a grip on things when I do wear gloves. Um, the only time I wear gloves is when I'm working with um, my art resin. And you definitely want to use gloves with these. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's 
really pretty, pretty, pretty. I think I'm going to do a little bit here, a little bit. I'm going to swirl it a little bit. Do a little swirly swirl. I'm going to do a little swirly swirl on this side. Keep the paint flowing. I think that's enough turquoise. I think I want to come in. Man, that is pretty. That's pretty. You know, so I mean, this this paint. Oh. This paint will continue to drip for at least, it's pretty warm in here, so about five minutes. Um, it's definitely going to continue to drip. Um, I think I want to put a little bit more purple in here. Just very, very little, 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 little. Got a big blotch there. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm kind of liking it. Um, I have a tendency of, like I said in my other videos, I have a tendency of like trying to overdo things and stuff. Um, but this is turning out really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to move these, uh, over a little bit. I really don't need no more white. I'm going to fold this. Just so you guys can see, I'm folding this right here so I can move. And I like, last time, I like that I'm not doing this part because I can grab this and grab this at the same time and just move it. Like this might stick to the paper, but the wine glass isn't. And on top of that, whatever paint is flowing underneath here will cover the ridges of the champagne glass. And then when it dries, oh, there's fuzzies. When it dries, um, you know, the spice works, the spice whatever you want to call them, the spice containers will stick to the paper. But the wine glass, all they have to do, the champagne glass, all they have to do is like pour it off. Make sure, I mean, make sure it's even, otherwise the paint's going to flow awkward. You don't want that. These turned out beautiful. I really like them. And hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. Um, I will share a picture once they dry. Um, I can almost guarantee probably by, what is it, 7.30 now? Wow, they really did turn out pretty. Um, yeah, I like it. And like I said, there it's going to continue flowing for at least a good 10 more minutes. Um, and there you go with that. Oh. So hopefully you can see what I see. Um, I really like the turquoise with the purple and the white. Um, I wasn't sure I wasn't going to put white, but I'm like, I thought, well, maybe I should because to make the paint flow a little easier. I mean, I do it sometimes, but a lot of times I just, I feel like it's just a waste of paint, but I really like how the white and the purple and the teal um, come together. It's beautiful. And then once these are done, um, I'm going to, if they turn out really pretty, I have, um, some ribbon that I will probably, I do have a really big box that I cover this with. So no dust or my cat hair 
sassy scare hair <laughs> gets caught in it or whatever um, that I do put over it um, to protect it so nothing gets in it. Um, you know, you just have to kind of come in and move it around a little bit. Um, other than that, it should be good to go. But, anywho, I bought some ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I found this for a dollar. Wait, was it Dollar Tree or Five Below? Mmm, crap. I don't know. I don't remember. I think it was, um, Five Below. I got this. And so I'm thinking about doing, um, maybe some purple ribbon around here. You know, and then maybe putting some pretty flower decorations on it. I don't know. But these are turning out really, really pretty. Um, I like how everything's fading in a little bit. So, yeah, it's, you know, everything's still going to flow. The paint's going to flow. So we're just going to wait and see. Uh, that's okay. That's, um, let me see. I'm not really liking how that white paints. How that white. Where's the turquoise? Just going to tilt this a little bit. I mean, I'm in a mess. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, I fuss, guys. I fuss. <sighs> I was talking to my older sister. You know, we hang out a lot and do arts and crafts and stuff. And she's like the same way. But I'm telling you, she's like a phenomenal artist. And I just wish... She would get her stuff out there, <laughs> to be honest, because it really, really is good. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just, like, gradually going to keep moving um, the champagne glasses here and there until they're kind of, like, almost dry. Until they're fully dry, actually. And I see some drips. Last it. I mean, it might look good right now but if you tip it the other way once it dries it depends on how that looks so you kind of have to look at it that way too um i don't know why i did that now see there we go <laughs> i'm gonna add some stuff anyways so i have some exciting things coming up um i'm waiting for materials to come um, some's going to come on Wednesday and some will be here on Thursday. So <clears throat> the, it's, it's pretty exciting. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and I'm going to decorate some more, uh, vinyl records and they're going to be super, super cool. Um, this one turned out, this one turned out really nice. I like it anyways. Um, I'm going to, yep, I need a drill bit, so I just have to drill in here. I just have to coat this part, paint this part, and it's going to be my clock on my wall. So, I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> I guess I'm done for now. <sighs> Hopefully y'all have a great week and please like my videos. Um, I do try my hardest. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm professional in, in one way, but in another way, you know, I'm here and I'm teaching you guys, showing you guys how to do certain things and it would make a great deal to me if you would like and um, comment. If you want to comment and ask me some questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them and um, subscribe to my videos. Okay. See ya. Peace.